So we're going to talk about adding rational numbers today. And rational numbers could be 0, any numbers to the right of 0, which would be positive, and any numbers to the left of 0, which will be negative. And that's what negative means, the left of 0, positive means to the right of 0. By definition, then, 0 is neither positive nor negative. Okay? Alrighty, then. Let's move on and talk a little bit about what certain symbols mean. All right. This 5, 5 really means the line segment from 0 to 5. That's what it means. All right. And 3 really means the line segment from 0 to 3. Negative 3 means the line segment from 0 to negative 3. Okay? All right, let's go over another notation. Five. So five is five, um, zero to five. But then I want the opposite of five, and that's what this symbol means, the opposite of five. And the opposite of five is negative five. It's, it's going in the opposite direction, not to the right for five, but to the left for five after zero. And that would give you negative five. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5. The opposite of negative 5 is 5. So if you look at this, the opposite of the opposite is going to give you 5. You start at 5. What's the opposite of 5? Negative 5. What's the opposite of negative 5? 5. Okay? You won't see it written like this, though. You'll see it written like this. the opposite of the opposite of 5, okay? Whenever you're looking at numbers, just look at the number and anything that comes before the number. So here you're starting at 5, you're taking the opposite of 5, which is negative 5, and the opposite of negative 5 now is 5. So the opposite of the opposite brings you right back to the number that you start with. That's a good way to think about it. All right, now that you understand that, we can now get into... Um, some symbols to help us to add rational numbers. All right, we're going to talk about vectors. And a vector is a line segment with a pointing direction. So remember I said I asked you what 5 meant, and, you, and I told you that 5 was a line segment from 0 to 5? Well, what direction are we going, right or left? We're going to the right from 0. So therefore, 5 will be represented like this, positive, Five, if you had a vector, okay? What about negative three? Well, when we're negative, we go to the left of zero, so we'll have a left-pointing vector, we'll call that negative, and for a length of three, okay? The length is three, and we're going to the left. So if a vector is right-pointing, we'll call it positive. If a vector is left-pointing, we'll call it negative. All right, and that's a vector, a line segment with a pointing direction. Now that we understand that, we have to get some rules now for how to uh, add vectors. All right. If we have a positive number, uh, that's a, a vector going to the right. If we have a positive number and we add that to another positive right pointing number, then we're going to get a positive number, okay? And if we have a negative number that's left pointing, and if we have a negative number that's left pointing, then we're going to get a negative number. If you think about it intuitively on the number line, it means you're starting at zero, you're going to go to the right for a little bit, and you're going to end up at some point, and then right at that point, you're going to keep on going to the right a little bit more. So as you can see, your answer will be positive. That's why. All right. Here you have a, you're starting at 0. Here you're going to the left for some number. All right. Then from that number, you're going left again. You can see why the answer is going to be negative, because we're to the left of 0. OK? So the rule for, for vectors, if they're going in the same direction, same direction, 
These are going in the same direction. If they're going in the same direction, find the sum. And the sum is when you add up the numbers. All right, if they're going in the same direction, find the sum. And the answer takes the sign of the direction. Well, both of these were going to the right. Right means positive. So the answer after you found the sum of both the numbers would have been a positive number. These vectors are going to the left. So once you found the sum of both of these numbers, you would then take the negative of it, okay? Because they're both left pointing. Answer takes the sign of the direction, of the vector. All right, let's do an example. So we have um, three and we're going to add that to five. So when we're, when we're doing these problems, just simply circle the number and anything that comes before it. So I'm circling three, there's nothing before it, and I'm circling five and everything that comes before it. Okay, looking at this three, this is this is this is three. Um, three is positive, so it's going to the right. All right, I'm looking at five. Five is positive. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just taking five. I'm not taking the opposite of it. Five, and that for therefore that's to the right as well. So they're both going in the same direction. When they're going in the same direction, find the sum. So I'll have three plus five. That's 8, and the answer takes the sign of the direction of the vector. They're both going to the right. When we go to the right, it's positive. Therefore, the answer is positive 8. Let's do another one where we have negative 3 <clears throat> plus a negative 5. All right, circle the number and everything that comes before it. Circle the number and everything that comes before it. Okay, so I have three. Remember what this negative sign means. It means, remember it means the opposite. The negative sign just means the opposite. Subtraction sign means the opposite. Subtract means add the opposite. So I'm at three, start at three, take the opposite of three. What's that? Negative three. Therefore, this is left pointing, and this means start at five, Take the opposite of 5, which is negative 5. And do I take the opposite of that? No, because there's no subtraction there. So start at 5, opposite of that, negative 5. Answer is negative 5. So we're left pointing. So they're both going in the same direction, both pointing in the same direction. So we're going to find the sum, 3 plus 5, and the answer is 8. And the answer takes the sign of the direction of the vectors if they're the same direction. Answer will be negative because both vectors are left pointing. Okay? Answer is negative 8 there. All right. Let us now go into the last rule. What happens if you actually have vectors that are going in different directions? So you have a positive and you have a negative. And you can change the order of these. You can have a negative and a positive. Okay? All right, well, what would the answer be? Well, when we, we don't know yet, but we do know that we're going to, if we have different directions, if the vectors are, are pointing in different directions, find the difference. And when you find the difference, that's when you subtract, okay? So, and then the last part of this is that the answer will take the sign of the longer vector. Longer vector. Answer will take the sign of the longer vector. Okay? All right. Let us uh, give some examples. Remember, if the vectors are going in different directions, find the difference. 
and then the answer will take the sign of the longer vector.